Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, bright and early. I feel like I have to talk quiet out here or I'm going to wake the neighborhood up. <laughs> Probably not. I am walking to work. I'm walking to Weight Watchers right now. It's about three and a half miles, so I'll get some good steps in. Here's what I'm wearing to work today. And of course, I'll change my shoes when I get there. Um, so yeah, it's like 65 degrees, so I'm kind of cold. I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna walk fast so I can warm up. I have my one tablespoon of ew, one tablespoon of fat-free half and half for zero smart points for my coffee when I get to Starbucks, and I also have one of the cafe creations weight watchers mucho mocha cafe creations also for my coffee this little bag is leaking how annoying <sighs> so i should get to starbucks in about an hour talk to you later okay, i just stopped at starbucks to get ice for my tea gonna have my tea now I had coffee this morning with the the cream and the cafe creations that you saw so this with ice zero smart points Okay, I like to think that I do a pretty adequate job on my nails, but uh, she beat me. <laughs> she did a way better job on my nails, super fast, and I forgot how nice it was to have somebody else do it for once. So my toes look awesome, my nails look great, yay. Hey guys, so it is 3.30 and we are finally on our way to Disneyland. We don't usually go this late because we tend to leave in the early afternoon or late afternoon, but tonight we're gonna try and see a parade and Fantasmic and maybe the fireworks. So um, we're getting a late start, but we're gonna stay, what time does the park close? 12. Ooh, I don't know if we'll stay till 12. We're but we stay until one. Oh, Eddie wants to stay till one? They're gonna kick us out. By one o'clock they will. Wouldn't it be awesome to stay so late that you see like all the lights come on and then all the busy nighttime cleaning yard work? Wouldn't it be cool work? to be able to do it backwards instead of like going early in the morning catching all the rides, but like stay late and then when everyone goes home, you get all the rides. So maybe we can get that would rides. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Maybe we'll do it. Okay, so 3.30 and I am just now breaking my fast with this muscle milk for one smart point. So I've been awake since 5.30. 30 and I've been fasting the whole time I had the one cup of coffee and the cup of tea so you would think I would be absolutely starving but I'm telling you that your body adjusts to the intermittent fasting and although I do feel like a hunger pain here and there it's not uncomfortable at all it's completely doable and it I don't know it just works so um, it helps so much for me to reduce my overall intake, especially on the weekends, if I just wait until 3 or 3.30. Um, so, I love it. Anyway, I am finally going to break my fast now with the muscle milk. We are actually headed to eat as well before we go to Disneyland. Usually we go to this specific restaurant after Disneyland, but as I mentioned, we are kind of doing things backwards today. So we're going to have an early dinner. Um, we'll probably get there like 4, 4.30, probably eat around 4.30. So this is the same restaurant that we always go to after Disneyland. No need to print the menu. I know it by heart. I always get the same thing. And you probably know what I'm gonna say. It's steak and potato. That's right, it's gonna be a five ounce sirloin steak for five smart points. 
a medium baked potato for five smart points, one tablespoon of regular sour cream for one smart point, and then this is the place where they have the steak and potato bar where you can put all those sauteed vegetables on and cheese and cheese sauce and barbecue sauce and steak relish and all kinds of good stuff. So um, I always load up on the sauteed vegetables and I think they do use a little oil when they saute them. So I always count a point for the vegetables. So dinner will be 12 smart points for me and I also have some sangria to enjoy with dinner for another 15 points. So that is it for me so far and I'm gonna show you dinner when we get there. And I also forgot to mention that I have a pair with me um, to take into the park um, I'm hoping that I won't be super hungry since we're having an early dinner, lots of protein, um, but I'm going to have, here's, here's my park plan tonight, hopefully, when, if I get hungry, when I get hungry, snacky. Um, I do have some more sangria, first of all, <laughs> which I will be taking with me, um, and then I have this pear. I am also going to plan to have some mango and maybe a pickle at the fruit stand. There is also the option of the vegetable skewer at the Bangle Barbecue. Um, for that, I will probably count a point because of the potato and I, they brush a little oil on it. Um, and then, I don't know if we're gonna make it to California Adventure or not. If we do, I wanna see if they have um, sugar-free syrup for the shaved ice, so. That's my plan for tonight, and we'll see how well I stick to that. If I stick to that, I should be able to come in at about 42 to 45 or 46 points. So um, one other option might be the corn on the cob because that would be three smart points. So those are kind of my plans for tonight, but we'll see if I'm hungry, if I lose my mind, if I get too snacky. Hopefully I don't crave anything sweet because it's all... Uh, crazy points. Okay, I am really, 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 really full. Like, I've got a food baby and I can't suck it in kind of full. That full. Like, if you saw my belly, <laughs> problems. But that's okay because I am hoping that this will be my one main meal for the day. So, it should be. It's 5.07 now. That was so far in between lunch and dinner that it should be fine. Unless I'm up until like 1 o'clock, which I might be. <laughs> um but hopefully that was it for me. So what I forgot to tell you was that the salad I always get there is a broccoli, carrot, cauliflower mixture. Plus I really, really love those beets that you get at salad bars. Um, they're just, they're so good. So that's all I have for salad and I don't use any dressing on that because I kind of mix them and combine them in there really good and then you saw how much I loaded up on those sauteed vegetables because those are so good and honestly I just love the onions so much I should just have the onions also one last thing is that that meal comes with garlic bread um, or garlic cheese bread something I have to put that immediately when they put that on my in front of me when they put the plate in front of me I have to put that garlic bread on Eddie's plate so fast before I even think about taking a bite because you know me and you know from what you saw yesterday, once I go off plan, I have one bite, then I'm history for the rest of the day. So that was it. Um, Eddie had chicken tonight, which was kind of odd, but was it good, Eddie? Was that chicken good? Yeah, it was good. Yeah? Would you have it there again or would you rather have steak? Yeah. It looked pretty good and it looked pretty big, so. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna rest until we get to Disney. I already saw one person with rose gold ears. And you know what? I wanted them. And she was like, oh man, I want the silver ones, but I guess I gotta buy the gold ones. I doubt it. She's got like a $50 pair of ears. I want them. <laughs> Hey, 
Okay, all the rose gold ears are sold out throughout the park, we are told. Which throughout is, the resort. Oh, throughout the whole resort, which is not a surprise to me. Not a surprise. But these babies are a close second for me. These caught my eye. They... The, they remind me of Beauty and the Beast, although she said there's really no correlation. But these are new. I haven't seen these, and I like the colors. So I'll take these until I can get rose gold. But they're cute, and they match my, you know, my outfit of the day. <laughs> okay, here we are just outside of Tomorrowland, and just when I think I've seen everything, What's that? Pixie Hollow. I've never seen that before. It's where the pixies live. Let's go see them. I want to see a pixie. Oh, look Did you at hear the cute. magic? And here we are, Pixie Hollow. We are in the land of the pixies. And it's beautiful. I wish it was tiny and I could live here forever. Because look at those adorable cottages. I want to live right over there in the red one. It's my retirement home. There's a pixie right there. I found one. I found one pixie in all of pixie land. I guess the rest of them are sleeping. Two. I see two pixies. There's another one in the frozen land. Um, People that know what Tinkerbell is probably know who she is, but sadly, I do not. Okay, here we go. Fairies, welcome. Come on in, guys. Let's see what we can find. I can't believe I've never been here. Maybe we'll find another fairy. I've seen two fairies so far. Two fairies. Oh my gosh! There's a male fairy. Look how tiny he is. He's so little and so cute. I think that's the only boy fairy I've ever seen. What else? Oh my gosh, what's over here? A purple toadstool. Hey guys, here we are at Disneyland USA. We're waiting for the Main Street Electrical Parade. That's right, the one and only original Electrical Parade, which ends in August. I think we have it until August, so we're taking advantage one of the last few nights we're here to be able to see the Electrical Parade. We're here with thousands of other people. So we kind of got a good seat. We're behind one, we're one row back. So kind of good seat. We'll show you what we find.
be just a bad spark plug, hippie. Give our friend your best. Crack! 